guys welcome back okay so as you can see i got a little bit of razzle dazzle on just trying to get in the whole valentine's day spirit thing since i created this kind of pinky orange valentine's day eye look for you guys now the palette that i use today is this you can be fruit pie filling palette okay i did go ahead and swatch this palette in my amazon affordable palettes video and so i wanted to go ahead and play around with it today because i knew there were some gorgeous like pinks and purples and kind of like what is that kind of like a peachy type shade so i thought it'd be fun to play around in this so this is the palette that i use to create this look today if you like it, then stay tuned because I do have a full tutorial for this. Not sure if I'm going to keep the face part in or not because I do want it to be a quick video. But if you're looking for another Valentine's Day eye look, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm using my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using this eyeshadow primer for quite a while now. And you guys know I absolutely love this stuff. For some reason, I cannot stop using it. It's just working so well for me as an eyeshadow base. I decided to go ahead and use some of my eyeshadow shields. I actually took one of the shields and just cut it in half <laughs> to use for both eyes today, and it worked out just fine. So this is the palette we're using, the You Can Be Fruit Pie Filling Palette. And the first shade I'm going into is Tangerine. And it's a bright orange shadow, but it kind of has like a peachy tone to it also. So I just started placing that down in my crease and blowing it out with a fluffy brush. And as you can see, even without a white base, you can really see this color very nicely. So I can only imagine how bright it would be on an actual white base. Very, very nice, easy to blend. Next, I'm going into the shadow Black Brin, which is a gorgeous kind of like fuchsia shade. It's matte, but in the pan, it looks like it has a tiny bit of like shimmer in it. You know, those mattes that kind of look like they have a little glitter, but when you blend them out, you can't see the shimmer at all. So that's the type of shadow this is. And as you can see, it's a very, very pretty color. Nice blend. Next to cut my crease, I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I wasn't sure exactly what type of cut I wanted to do, so I just kind of did a round cut crease because I didn't know if I wanted to do a halo or just a regular cut crease. So I did something kind of in between today. Now after cutting my crease, I went back in to the palette to grab the shade Kumquat. Now this is like an orange shimmer type shadow. It wasn't as pigmented as I would have liked. Um, it kind of has the texture of what's trying to be a ColourPop Super Shock shadow, but it's not exactly like one. <laughs> so the pigmentation is not as bold and as bright as you might think it is, but it worked out just fine. On top of the cut crease canvas, I was able to see a bit of that orange shimmer. Now I'm going back into that black brand and just tapping that on the inner and outer corners because I did actually decide that I wanted more of like a halo type shape for this eye look. It didn't turn out perfect, but <laughs> I think that those colors did blend in nicely together. And once the eye look is completed, it all came together nicely. So removing the shadow shields, I just went ahead and cleaned up that fallout. As you can see, I had some on my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm going in with my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. This is a matte eyeliner. It's actually my favorite currently. <laughs> I love using this stuff. And I'm just creating a basic wing, nothing too crazy. Now for my face, I'm starting off with this Becca Skin Love. This primer is really nice. It's a brighten and blur primer. And I think I like it so much because it is very moisturizing. It does create a nice smooth blur to your skin. 
for your foundation base, but it's very moisturizing. And for foundation, I'm using my Becca 24 Hour Ultimate Coverage Foundation today. Now, I did choose this off of the BoxyCharm pop up. <laughs> so, you know how hard it is to choose a foundation shade through a computer screen. So I knew it would be a little bit off, but I don't think it was so bad that it's unusable for me. I got a really good deal on this foundation on the BoxyCharm website. So I'm glad I went ahead and grabbed it because this stuff is extremely full coverage. It's very matte in my opinion. <laughs> so you do have to apply it quickly, but it is extremely full coverage and it did last all day. I decided to go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I probably should have used the regular camo concealer since the uh, foundation is so matte, but it still worked out pretty well this elf hydrating concealer has a lot of coverage a lot of coverage but it wasn't bright enough so i decided to go in with a little bit of my la girl pro conceal on top and just kind of mix them together to add a little bit more brightness to this uh you know this look and i'm just blending it in with one of my shop miss a pawpaw sponges i love these sponges you guys they just work so well. But as you can see, these two concealers actually blend it nicely together. And I actually like how they look on my face together. Now I'm trying out a new powder. This is the Milani Translucent Medium to Deep Powder. And this is the color on it. Very nice. I was concerned it might not be bright enough for under my eyes. But I actually think it would be just fine since this foundation is a little bit too light for me. Um, everything is looking not as bright, you know, but with a regular foundation shade and a brighter concealer, I think it will work out very nice, but this powder is very, it's very smoothing. It's fine, but it's not super duper fine. Like some of my other favorite powders, but I was very pleasantly surprised with this Milani loose powder. I think it would be great for an all over face powder as well. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Maybelline Superstay Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Coconut. You guys know I like to use a pressed powder to set my face all over. And so, you know, I actually like this powder as well. I've been getting really, really lucky with these powder choices lately. Now to bronze, I'm gonna use my Full Spectrum from CoverGirl. This is in the shade Ebony. And I'm kind of using it as a bronzer slash contour. As you can see, I'm just using it mainly on the outer perimeters of my face just to kind of deepen up those areas a bit. For blush and highlight, I'm going into my Makeup Geek Face Palette. I love this palette, you guys. The blush is so pigmented and the color, I think, is just absolutely gorgeous. But you gotta be careful because the blush and the highlighter in this palette is very pigmented <laughs> so as you can see i'm just going in very lightly with that highlighter but it is definitely one where if you want to build it up and just shine from the heavens honey you definitely can because it, it is very very bold but very pretty you can wear it either way bold or mild for my lower lash line i'm just going in with some of my milani stay put this is the waterproof pencil eyeliner in black and just placing some of that on my lower lash line. And to further smoke out that lower lash line, I'm going back into the shade Black Brin, which is that fuchsia shade. And I'm just smoking that out with a small fluffy brush. I actually think this is like a pencil brush and I'm using that to um, line my lower lash line. And I'm going in with that tangerine shade right below that fuchsia and just kind of using that to create the same gradient that I have on the upper part of my eye. Now I did go ahead and depot my BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette <laughs> because I love the shimmers in there. So I'm just using one of those to uh, brighten my inner corner today. The shimmers in that palette, you guys, are just 
outrageous. So I just went in. I know I wanted something a little bit brighter for Valentine's Day and that definitely did the trick. For my lips, I'm using my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. I wanted to keep it a little toned down today. And for my lipstick, I'm using one of my Revolution Pro lipsticks. This is in the shade Velvet, a gorgeous rose tone nude shade. Very, very pretty. And these are comfortable as well. I'm going in with these Tati Lashes today. They're a little bit more dramatic <laughs> since this is for a nice, sexy Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys like this look. I just wanted to do something quick and easy for you guys if you need a last minute Valentine's Day look. And I think it came out very nice. So thank you so much for hanging out and watching me create this look. If you like it, please hit like and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!